Hey guys, my name is William. In today's video, we're going to talk about local SEO and keyword research. That's right, local SEO and keyword research. So this request comes in from a client in Canada. They're looking to rank for an area called Burnaby, BC, Canada. Um, for a moving company. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some keyword research and show you how I necessarily do keyword research. Okay. And I know there are many other videos we have in this regards, but I kind of just want to go over this. So we have Burnaby City and we can put in population and I could, you know, pretty much guess off the population. This would take me about three months to get you ranked. Um, but keyword research, let's say I wanted specifically, I want to look at my competition, see who there is. So we got these three guys right here. Traditionally, I go, these three people are the top three for a reason. First thing I want to do, I want to go copy, if you will, their linking structure, their page structure, first their page structure on their website, then their internal linking structure, then their content, and then outdo their content. Not copy them, but copy what they're doing, their method of uh, ranking, okay? So we go over here to this website specifically. This is for real Canadian movers. Most of the time we can pull a site map, okay? And look at their site map and tell you straight up, just from this, right, what we're gonna need. Is it, how many posts do they got? How many pages do they got? All these things, right? So on this site map, because they're using Yoast, I can go in and I can go, okay, this person, for example, has 118 URLs for blog posts, right? Then I can go in here and I can actually copy all of this and create posts just like them, okay? With the same titles, everything. So they got 118 posts, or as we like to call them, blog posts, okay? Then as far as pages, we'll look at what they got as well. They got 27 pages, and I want to create the same pages, same URL structure, everything, right? And then I go and I look, okay, well, how many categories do they have? And I can look, look at their category, and I can tell what, how many authors they got. They don't have one, two, four categories. One is uncategorized, which I wouldn't use. Then they got moving tips. Then they got... Um, packing tips in their blog. Um, so basically, based off of that information, I will then go, okay, that is what I need to do. I need to do what they're doing. I need to duplicate what they're doing, right? Then we can go into the traditional sense and go, okay, you know, Burnaby, BC, Canada, movers. And then I can create my content based off of, or my FAQs based off of what are other people asking. A lot of people don't pay attention to this area right here, which Google is basically telling you on a silver platter, this is what people are actually looking for, or what we call intent-based keywords. Intent-based, I'm looking for a mover. How much does a mover cost in this area? What type of people live in this area? Um, what's the largest moving company in that area? Um, things to look for, you know, all this type of stuff. And movers in the area, what's the moving company? What are typical moving costs? You know, all this stuff. How much does it cost to hire a mover? It's telling you these are the questions people are looking for. So I would base all of my, if you will, content that I'm going to make off of this information and off of what I discovered by looking at the competition. If I look at number two site here, and then we can also get into, for example, okay, what are their backlinks? And I can use SpyFu to look at that. But honestly, for the most part, what we're going to start looking at from the get-go is, okay, well, how much content is it going to take? What should my content be based around? my keywords, my internal linking structure and everything. So first off, we create the titles, the descriptions. And I have another um, YouTube video where I go over this as well, over Azagio, okay, with Herc Magnus. And 
Exagio mm -hmm. does miracles mm -hmm. when it comes to doing this research. It pulls it in and everything. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to do a whole lot of extra work, if you will. And that's what that tool helps me do. So basically, first step you're going to want to do, and I can pull this up with your um, research. This is my SOP. And remember, if you want this SOP, make sure to comment below. But essentially is go to the sitemap of the top three competition, right? And then we're going to want to clone their URL structure, right? Page structure, internal linking, right? We want to look at everything they're doing and clone it or model it, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to recreate this based on our own website with our own content, right? And by doing so, we'll simplify our process and ranking, really. So if you have recreate, we're going to recreate their process, recreate their internal linking structure, recreate content, okay? And I go over in some other videos, I talk about how to create the content and everything else in my whole process. I hope this helped you in regards to actually ranking and how do we figure out the content and keyword research and basic keyword research I do. Then I can also go into other things like, you know, um, using SEMrush and Ahrefs to do quote unquote keyword research. But basically what I like to do is go to Google and say, hey, Google, what is people actually looking for when it comes to this specific keyword when I know Google is going to give me actual intel on what people are looking for. And then I write my content based off of that after I've looked at the top three URL structures. Okay. Hopefully this helped. If you have any other questions, make sure to drop them below and I will get that over to you. If you want my SOP and my spreadsheet on how to do this, make sure to comment below and I'll get that over to you guys. You have guys have a great day and be blessed. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents. You think you're an SEO guy, but you're an SEO.